Welcome to the Pitbull Bible Online APBT Database. This is California Jack and today we're going to talk about entering in a dog to our database and this is really where the rubber meets the road as far as uh, proper data entry is concerned. Please watch this whole video tutorial. It may seem simple how to add a dog but it really isn't. It's a lot of stuff that people are missing, blowing, ruining and so please watch this whole video. First of all, we're going to want to navigate to the pedigrees section of the database, obviously to enter pedigrees. Um, if we're going to add a bulldog, we might want to search for the bulldog here, but really we've configured this so that the add bulldog is a search feature. Here's how you use it. First of all, click on here. The next step is to actually read the instructions. When you're entering a dog that you want to put in, enter only the dog name first. That means no owner, no breeder, nothing. You do not want to enter champion. You do not want to enter one-time winner. You don't want to enter anything besides the dog name. And I'll tell you why. Suppose, for example, uh, I wanted to enter in Jeep, and the thought hasn't dawned on me, hey, maybe Jeep's already in here. And suppose I'm going to enter in Jeep. What if I enter in Crenshaw's Jeep? What if the dog's in as Garrett's Jeep? Or Crenshaw's with an apostrophe S or no apostrophe S? Or Champion Jeep versus no Champion Jeep? There's so many ways to get duplicate dog, duplicate dog, duplicate dog, and blow the search feature because these statistics, and it's an awesome video, you need to watch it, these statistics are contingent upon proper data entry. So let's figure out how we're going to enter a dog. Suppose it hasn't dawned on me that Grand Champion Buck might be here. Now if I just put STP's Buck, what if somebody entered him like this? What if somebody entered him as Waldman's Buck? You know, there's so many ways to enter duplicate dogs, we don't want to do any of this. We just want to put in Buck, and that's it. So we check to see if he's here first every dog with the name Buck is going to show up if we do it minimally like this and we just simply go down and we see if Waldman's Buck is here there is no Waldman's Buck but there is an STP's Buck and this is what we want to do we found Buck there's no need to enter him we've already got him in here so there's nothing we need to do so we're good we have Buck he's already here uh, there's no reason to enter him. We've got him here, and that's good. Now, suppose I want to add a bulldog I know is not here. Here's how I do it. I am going to enter in my vice grips hot tamale. Okay, first of all, let me see if she's here. I'm going to put in tamale just to check first. Please always check first. Vice grips hot tamale. Oops, she's already there. I'm wrong. Hot tamale's already here. So, by doing that, I save myself a lot of trouble and duplicate entry. What about her sister, Big Mama? Let me, tr let me try to add her. Mama. There's a whole bunch of dogs. Bad Mama, Little Mama, Vice Grips, Big Mama. There is no such dog. Now, what I don't want to do is create a Mama yet. I've, I've made sure that there is no mama, big mama, and there's pit stops, but that's not mine. So now I'm going to put in her whole name, how I want to enter her. Now I'm going to recheck with the complete name. Again, you always want to check the minimal name first to, make, to rule out all possibilities to prevent duplicate data entry. We see a lot of big mamas, but not the not my big mama. So now I'm going to check again. This t gives me a slightly to big apples. You see the word big in there, and there's uh, a lot more to look at. But I'm going to go down to vice grips because that's the one that has to do with me. There's a lot of vice grip dogs, but no big mama. So now what I do is it a male? Is it a female? I can choose not to create big mama create a male that wouldn't make any sense she's a female so now I'm going to create a female big mama when I hit the submit button I now have a blank field that allows me to fill in her characteristics now here's where a lot of people really 
don't do a good job. They don't bother to put the weight. They don't put any information. But I'm going to do this because all of these are harvestable information that can be pulled from the Bulldog statistics. So the more stuff you enter, the better. She is a buckskin female. Her nose color is black. I don't know her height at the shoulder, but I do know her chain weight was about, oh, I think 44 pounds. And her conditioned weight was about 39. She did not win. These, this is a performance show champion or grand champion. This is a confirmation show champion or grand champion nationals purple ribbon. Weight pull titles are here. Obedience trials are here. There's a lot of good information, all of which is harvestable information. She didn't win best of show. She didn't win dog of the year. If she did, I could choose what year she won dog of the year. Gamist and show, POR, ROM. She was never uh, shown out there. She's not for sale. Her registration number, I don't have that on hand, but I do know she was registered by the ADBA. Default country, land of birth, land of standing, USA, that's it. Now I do know her birth date. Her birth date is 05 31 1999. And she is now deceased. If I wanted to put any notes, she was the greatest dog that ever lived, she was lousy dog, she was a great producer, whatever, I can put in the notes here. And so I add the dog. I've now created the dog, Vice Grips Big Mama. I have no photo of her, there's no pedigree information here, but here's where it gets fun. Okay, again, all the information I put in this field, the edit details, and I can edit, add more, change things if I want, uh, is added here, but now I need to know how she's bred. I can choose to add the sire here or here. I can also choose to add it here, 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 here. I'm going to choose right here. The sire name I know is Poncho. So again I do a search for just Poncho. I don't look up Vice Grips Poncho. I just look up Poncho. I find him and I am going to submit and bam, I get taken back here. I've got Vice Crips Poncho, and I've also got him here. Now, I could enter the dam name right here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to enter it here to show you how this works. I click on the dam. I again look. It's Katana. It's Southern Kennels Katana. I know how she, her name is. I don't bother putting in Southern Kennels Katana with an apostrophe, without an apostrophe, because somebody might have entered it wrong. I just put in Katana, and I look. See, I've got Brotes Katana, Elliot's Katana, Gateways. This is the one that matters for this breeding. So I submit. And bam, Big Mama has a pedigree. Okay, so now I don't want to leave this undone either. I want to put the breeder. I'm the breeder. I'll just put Vice. I'll choose Vice Grip Kennels. There's the breeder. So now we do the same thing with the owner. We look it up. I know it's me, Vice Grip Kennels. I check for it. Now again, I check for Vice. Now, don't just don't put Vice. Somebody else now put Vice Grip Kennel without the apostrophe. Retard didn't pay any attention to how to do this. This is the type of crap that I don't want to see, duplicate data entry. Somebody put in vice, no hyphen, grip kennel, without the S, and now there's a du duplicate. If you just put in vice, you'll get all of them. So I'm going to have to go in the back door and pull this out of there and just leave vice grip kennels. Anyway, so we submit the proper spelling. <coughs> and now we're really left with one more thing to do, and that's add the photographs. Remember, you add the details here. You add the photographs here in the media center. Um, if you have a YouTube video, you could hook it up here. You just enter in the YouTube video here, click hit submit. You can scale this to 150% or whatever and make it larger. But I'm just going to enter in a photograph. So I'm going to look up Big Mama. And I got her in here somewhere. There's Big Mama. And I submit. 
and there she is. So after I do that, I go back to the profile and I've got a completely entered dog with all the data that I can possibly enter. The only thing I've left out is the registration number and I could go in to my records and try to find this registration number to complete the deal. But this is how we make completely accurate and, and uh, dog information which, as you'll see in another video, is relevant in the Bulldog Statistics page. If I had more photos of Big Mama, I could enter four separate photos, and again, I could also add the video. I could have also added the notes uh, to tell the world how great she was. Now, suppose I wanted to add a different dog, and I want to show you some other features, because when I entered Big Mama, you know, Poncho was already here, Katana's here. Sometimes it's a little difficult if none of these dogs are back here because some of you guys are entering in dogs nobody has any idea about. So let's take a look in a situation like that. I'm going to click Add Bulldog now. Okay, this time I'm going to enter a dog that does not have, that not only isn't in here herself, but whose daddy is not in here to show a different way to add. This is going to be an old family red nose female I used to have called Morgan's Red Dancer. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put in her name Dancer. Not Red Dancer, not Morgan's Red Dancer. I'm going to just look up Dancer. I've made sure there's Cat Dancer, Private Dancer, Zitico Dancer, Sun Dancer, but there's no Morgan's Red Dancer. So now I take the second step and I go Morgan's Red Dancer dancer. Check again. There's going to be a whole bunch of things with the name Red in there, so I'm going to look, look, look at a thousand different dogs with the name Red. Fortunately, it's alphabetized, so it's not that hard. There's a lot of dogs with the name Red in there. That's why we just want to start with Dancer, but I get down to Morgan. And let's see, Morgan's got a lot of red dogs. Morgan, 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 Morgan. Red Jewel, that was a dog I owned. Red Magic, Red Rock, but no Red Dancer. So I can go down here, all the way down. Again, what I'm trying not to do is enter duplicate dogs. I've established that there's no Morgan's Red Dancer. It's not a male, it's a female. So I'm going to create this dog. Once again, I get taken to this field where I enter everything about her. I know she's a female. I know she's a red, red nose. Okay, I'm going to enter that. Okay, if I recall correctly, she was 47, I believe around 43 in condition. She won no titles that I'm aware of. But again, each of these are separate harvestable pieces of data and I want to make sure that she's won none of these. She has not. She's not for sale. I do know her registration number. I've copied that down. I've pasted it. She was ADBA registered and she was born November 5th, 2002. She is now deceased. So I'm going to enter her. Again, I could enter her father here, but what I'm going to want to do, since I know his, her father is not here, is enter this way. And her father's name is Morgan's Butch. I'm going to look for Butch like this. Again, just put in the name Butch, not Morgan's Butch yet. There's a lot of Butches. Alphabetized, it's easy. There is no Morgan's Butch. so. Do I want to create a butch? I do not. I now want to enter the full name. And recheck. Again, this is the definition of double checking. I am double checking to see if this dog is here. Okay. Morgan's butch. There's a lot of Morgans, but not Morgan's butch. So I'm going to create Morgan's butch. And here's where, the, where you want to do something different. When you get taken to the next dog, you don't want to start filling him out here on his own pedigree. Instead, you click this. You're get, you'll notice that before this was empty. Now, when you enter a brand new dog, 
rather than start filling out his information, I'm going to go back to the pedigree. Okay, now I'm back to Morgan's Red Dancer, and I've got Morgan's Butch. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the dam here. Now her dam is Morgan's Tammy, so I'm going to look for Morgan's Tammy. Okay, again, I just put in Tammy, not the full name. And after I check, I've got, okay, Morgan's Tammy is here. So I don't have to add a new day, uh, create anything. I just click the uh, radio button and I go back. I'm supposed to go back. Let's see what happens. All right, back to Morgan's Red Dancer. Okay, because I have Tammy, she's already in here and all this information is already there. So now what I'm going to do is instead of clicking on Morgan's Butch and trying to fill out his pedigree here, I'm going to do it here. I now have an add sire. This will happen progressively as you go back. So I'm going to add the sire, which is going to be Morgan's Red Bear. I now know that he is here. So I'm just going to put in Bear to go through all the dogs with the name Bear in here. It's alphabetized, so I'm going to look for Morgan's, Little Bear, Iron Bear. Where's Red Bear? Okay, now you see this? Some retard entered this crap here. I don't want this crap here. You do not put anything in the front of the name. Somebody's doing this, you know, this means DNA profiled crap. This doesn't go on here because it screws up the entry. Now we have Morgan's Red Bear is not alphabetized, okay, because some uh, person entered this here, but I found him. He is here, so I'm going to click Submit, and I'm going to go back to, it takes me back to Morgan's Red Dancer, and so this part is filled in. Now the dam to Morgan's Butch is a bitch named uh, Morgan's Geronimo Girl. So we go through this process. Why isn't it working? There we go. Geronimo. I don't need to put the girl in because girl will just put in more dogs. Morgan's Geronimo girl is here. Bam. I now have a completed pedigree. I've entered in all of this information. Okay but I have not put breeder or owner. So I'm going to put the breeder and give credit to Mike Morgan. I'll just put in Mike and see if he's in his Mike Morgan or whatever. Mike Flores, Mike Morgan. So I'm going to enter him. And then when I was breeding these red red noses, I went by Crimson Magic Kennels because I was going to try to resurrect these dogs. What a, wasn't, anyway, I won't say anything. So I'm going to put in Crimson. Crimson Magic Kettles. Enter. And now we have a completed pedigree except for the picture. Once again, we go to the Media Center. My computer's jamming up on me. We've been on too long. Alright, so I will enter this dog. Where did she go? There she is, Dancer. And I'm going to submit. She's here. Back to profile. And I've now entered Morgan's Red Dancer, which is a dog I had about 10 years ago. Okay, so the important thing to notice is when you don't have. Uh, a male and you've got to build a trail enter your pedigrees from here and then when you go to the next dog right here will appear a portion that says back to pedigree you click that and it takes you back to the individual dog so I wanted to point that out but that's how you enter a dog you want to enter as much information as possible because that will eventually get stored in the bulldog statistics from which we can draw a lot of different information so that will conclude the tutorial here and I do appreciate your patience in watching it. Thank you.